Hi, you've had your chiropractic structural adjustment, but have you had your nutritional adjustment? Let's talk about what that means. Some of the reasons that you may be sitting in the waiting room right now might be pain, inflammation, headaches, uh, fatigue. The food that you eat greatly impacts the results that you're going to get in this office. And one of the things that you can do is just become aware of what it is that you're putting into your mouth, how often you're putting it in there, and the and how you're eating. Are you eating stressed, standing up at your desk every day? Are you shoveling food in your mouth on the car while you're driving with one hand and talking on the phone? Uh, stress eating creates a gastronomic nightmare in your system that's going to result in a lot of uh, digestive stresses, which will result in other problems. The food that you eat can either contribute to inflammation or it can contribute to anti-inflammation. While you may take medications for those, and you may take medications for muscle relaxing or pain relief, there are also natural things that you can do that will either help with that or can hinder what you're trying to get done with your chiropractor. I always suggest to my patients that they fill out a food diary and actually see what are you actually eating for three to seven days. If you did that and brought that back to your chiropractor, you might both be surprised at what you think you're eating and how you think you're eating healthy, but in reality you're not. You're getting too many empty calories, too many processed foods, not enough whole foods like quality grains, nuts and seeds, fruits and vegetables that you would recognize as fruits and vegetables and not things that are processed in food that comes out of a package. If you want to feel better, you have to eat better. And my philosophy is if your insides don't support what you're trying to do to your outsides as far as getting your chiropractic treatments, then you're not going to get the results that you're looking for. They're not going to happen as fast, and they're certainly not going to be as long lasting. Many years ago, you could get chiropractic treatments only. In fact, my father was a chiropractor, my grandfather was a chiropractor. And the philosophy back then was adjust the spine and you'll feel fine. But look at the environment that we live in today. The adjustments are simply not holding anymore like they used to because of stress. Now stress is environmental stress with air pollution, it's stress at the gas pump, inhaling gas fumes, it's chemical stress with coffee, alcohol, it's secondhand smoke is a stress, your medications that you're taking are a stress. All of those things contribute to why you might not be holding your adjustment. So those are things that you can correct, for the most part, relatively inexpensively. You have to buy food anyway. Why not pick things that are just better choices? Some of the foods you might want to avoid for a period of time and just test yourself would be foods that are always inflammatory for everyone that consumes them. Those foods are going to be dairy products and grains, like wheat mostly. Caffeine is another food that if you avoid that for a period of time, you might find that you feel better. It's a stimulant and therefore it's also going to stimulate pain fibers to fire. So if you're already in pain and you have that cup of coffee, you're probably going to contribute to more pain. As far as the wheat and dairy go, if you can avoid those, you're going to avoid a lot of digestive problems. And the root of all evil is a bad gut. And in chiropractic, one of the reasons you're not going to hold your adjustments is because your gut is so inflamed that you're not going to produce the correct hormones to support ligaments, muscles, tendons, everything being nice and strong and intact so that when we put your bones back where they're supposed to be, all of those tissues are going to actually hold them there. So when I talk about a bad gut, I mean things like eating too fast and poor choices. You put a lot of food in there, your stomach can't break it down, but the food has to move downstream anyway. So you have undigested food moving downstream, creating a lot of hardship. If you don't break down that food, where are you getting your nutrients from? You're not. So you're, you may think you're getting enough in quantity, but you're actually not getting enough in quality. So your brain is going to tell you, we need more food. And one of the problems today is, of course, weight gain, obesity. And one of the big reasons is because when you put poor food in, it is not recognized as food because it's usually not naturally occurring in nature. It's processed in some way. I call them frankenfoods. And then your brain says, wait, that didn't count. Go get me some more. And so it's just a bad, vicious cycle. 
start eating things that your grandmother would actually recognize. If your grandmother would recognize it as food, it's probably okay to eat. If it grew out of the ground, it's probably okay to eat. If it had a mother, it's probably okay to eat. So in other words, we're going for healthy proteins, which are animal products, and of course we want lean meats, not fatty cheeseburgers. We want foods that came from animals, like eggs and other dairy, just a tiny amount though, and nuts, beans, and, and seeds. Those are your quality protein foods. At night, a protein snack is really a healthier choice than a big bowl of ice cream or a big bowl of cereal. Uh, if you put a protein snack in there, maybe a, a tablespoon of almond butter or quality peanut butter on a celery stick, you're going to not feel horrible and you're also going to not gain weight. It's going to fuel your metabolic engine all night long while you sleep. The other thing that you must do in order to uh, facilitate faster healing with your chiropractic is take general nutrition recommendations, general supplements. Our food these days is not grown in soil that's rotated properly. So unfortunately, it doesn't have the same density of nutrients that it did 50 years ago on grandma's farm. It's really important that you supplement with a quality multiple vitamin, a quality B complex for stress, and a quality fish oil two times per day. You want to take your morning dose and you want to take your evening dose. And the reason that it's so important to do divided dosing is because your morning dose is going to support your activities during the day. It's going to preserve storage. You're not going to have to go into storage to pull anything out when you take your morning vitamins. Now, unfortunately, your morning vitamins will then be used up and gone by nighttime. So when you go to bed, the first 90 minutes of sleep is devoted to wound healing and tissue repair of all of the things that we did to ourselves that day. Age-related chronic problems and pain syndromes are usually a factor of we just didn't take care of it along the way. So little tiny problems turn into bigger problems, mostly because poor sleep and you didn't have the nutrients available to do the healing and repair. So quality, multiple, quality B-complex and a quality fish oil two times per day will really, really help that. Your chiropractor may be able to do a further investigation with a nutrition exam, maybe give you health appraisal questionnaires, maybe some lab work would be involved in, in identifying what would be more specific to your recommendations. The only other extra recommendation I would have is if you are a smoker, we see chronic pain problems in smokers versus non-smokers, and the biggest reason is because smoking robs the body of vitamin C. Every single cigarette pulls 40 to 50 milligrams of vitamin C out of your body, assuming that you even had the extra in there. Now, when the smoker goes to bed at night, they don't have any vitamin C left. What do you think the number one nutrient is for healing and repair that's required? Vitamin C. So, as a smoker, be sure to supplement an extra one to 3,000 milligrams per day of vitamin C depending on the amount of cigarettes that you smoke. Of course, quitting smoking would be the better idea, but in the meantime, supplement your vitamin C. If you have any further questions, please talk to your chiropractor. I'm sure they can help you out.